What's up guys? It's Devin here with Twisted Sticks TV. We're out at our hunting property getting ready to set up some mineral sites, some protein pellets and corn. We got the Rack 1 Systems mineral blocks here. We got some attractants, some big game peanut butter, as well as some protein pellets. If you go right there, it's a 45 degree angle that way. Closer that, that tallest tree. Yeah. Oh, Down in there, it opens up a little more to the right around this group of trees. Yeah, I guess we There's basically they've got the field right there. And cover and a place to walk through right here. I think that area I'm specifically talking just a little further up here, but there were a deer right there. Where at? Four or five of them, probably. Through the trees? Yeah. yeah. They were right here when we rounded this corner. Let's see what mm -hmm. we got in this little magical sack here. That was pretty heavy. Oh. Trail cam. Peanut butter. What do you think? That gonna taste good? I'll try it. A little bit of juice, acorn flavor, and the mineral block off from rack one. Let's get this set up. <laughs> All right, so we got our mineral block here. Directions say just to kind of put it on the ground. You can put it on a tree stump, do whatever. We're just going to put it on the bare ground here. We've got a water source. There's a little creek just probably about 50 yards back there. We know there's a lot of deer trails and deer paths, so they're going to find this as they're walking through. But anyways, this has got a lot of good minerals for the deer. You've got calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, sulfur, cobalt, copper, and so on. Just all the essential minerals that deal, uh, deer need for horn growth. And so anyways, we got this set up, and we'll see how it does. We're getting ready to throw in our trail camera right over here, and we'll get some pictures. All right, next we're going to put up some of this Boost 73. It's fall acorn flavor. We got a nice little brush pile here with some dead logs. The instructions say something you can do is you can take logs or a stump and you can pour this stuff on it and the deer will eat that. And so it's just kind of an attractant. It's got enzymes that help with digestion and it's also got minerals that are good for deer. But it's also just kind of a long range scent attractant that will bring them into that mineral site. So it'll pick up with the wind and that scent will go and they'll be able to find it. So come in here and see if we can find us a good dead log. Take that big one. Right here. Oh, I was talking about that one. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can carry that. Ugh. The only reason I'm saying that is because it was flat. Yep. Let's um, do it. On Air Force. <laughs> nice little bar stool here. We'll get deer one, deer two, deer three, all right in front of the camera. Looks good to me. All right, so just gonna open her up here. Get a little bit of tracting going. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of you pouring after you. What? That's an interesting smell. Oh, what do you man. think? That's different. It smells oh. like candy. Yeah, it does. I just got sugar on my finger. Well, there goes that. <laughs> That's gone. Gonna use the whole <laughs> jug. <laughs> I hope they like it. All right, so we got our jug laid out here. We got all the mineral and the scent stuff out on our log. They'll just kind of soak in over time, and then the deer will be able to come in and eat that log, and we'll get some really nice pictures on our trail cam. How's it going, Darcy? Good. We're getting her hung. All right, so we're going to throw in one last little bit here. We got our big game peanut butter. Uh, it's basically just a big old jar of peanut butter. You dump it out and the deer will come and eat it. But it's rain and mold resistant. So like we've also got this uh, molasses type stuff, the sugar stuff we put on the log. But rain will wash that away. And then also, like if you had corn or something, um, it could mold if it gets wet over time. And so this is real good for not molding and washing away in the rain. So anyways, we'll... Check her out here. I opened this up once. Smells like peanut butter for sure. 
a little cover on in there and oh man that is nasty <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks like oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got 22% protein, 44% fat, so good for deer growth, um, all purpose year round pretty much. Yeah, I'm just no substitute rather than doing corn or protein pellets and stuff. But, anyways, we're trying it out. We'll see what it does. All right, well, we got our log here with the Boost 73. We got just a normal like salt mineral block, just stock salt. We got our rack one deer mineral block and then our uh, big game peanut butter there. And they're all kind of laid out here close. We got a trail camera and we'll see, do a little test and kind of see what they go for. Which one they like the most as far as flavor or if they're going for nutrients, see which one they choose. We'll go ahead and go over to the south side, go in the south gate. We're gonna set the west side and the pond next. All right, so we're just gonna mix up a little bit of corn and pellet here. Protein pellet, it's got mineral and stuff in it too. It's good for all year round supplement. But we're gonna go ahead and mix this corn in, just kinda make it go a little bit further because this stuff can be expensive, but it's also effective. Yeah, dump some in here. Throw this a little that. Oh man. <laughs> and then mix her up. And about a 50 50 ratio of it. And we'll put this in our feeders. Entry. Look, somebody I've been driving through this. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which tree are we going on? This close one or? Uh, see, like early see season. Camp? Early season, you're fine. Early covered in the back. Kind of. Yeah, mostly it's mostly covered early season. It's when the leaves fall. That's the part of me that hates to move it is like, we got clean till, what, late October, the whole leaves. We built some uh, little feeders here for the corn and pellets to go in. Just something that the coons can't get into as easily. Real simple PVC construction that we painted. And we put a little grate in the bottom, so if you get some rain in it, it'll go right through. But the deer eat out of this and They'll clean this thing out in just a couple of days. So I thought about maybe getting some bigger tubes and doing it again. But these work great. It brings the deer in, gives them some nutrients. They've got, those tracks have to be fresh. Yeah, those are fresh tracks and the old mineral site. Attention all deer. We have come to kill you. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold that and let you okay. uh, do the bungees. Just... So what's up with the uh, orange duct tape there? Last mm. year I got about a hundred ticks on me one trip out here and it's tick season. So I'm doing everything I can not to get a bunch of ticks on me. Basically saying he's a wimp. Saying I don't want Lyme disease. <laughs> that was a low blow. I have mine. Up, you going? I'm going. All right. Well, now I got some sugar beet flavor. So pour a little bit on our mineral block here. Might kind of help start disintegrating it and get a little aroma in the air. Look, we're being real here. I want some pictures of this. Don't look at my underwear, Darcy. Solid. Yeah, this stuff's good for doing just bare ground. You can put it on the logs like we did earlier or just right on the mineral block.
Well, that pretty well wraps up our summer preparation video. We wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of the products from Rack One and how they work and uh, how you can implement them on your property. As the summer progresses, we're going to keep scouting out new areas and maybe hang up some new stands. But hopefully in the next few episodes, we'll catch you guys out in the field as we're hunting some deer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Peanut butter. <laughs> well, that pretty well wraps up our summer preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Break. Go, go away. Stop. <laughs>